morning. This is Nick Gill with Danbro Distributors. It's Friday. We're in Seattle City, New Jersey. We're starting our first installment of videos for our YouTube page and website on how to question and answer sessions and uh, things we've gathered in our years of doing this that could help you out. Uh, looking forward to making more of these videos and helping answer any questions you guys have and teaching you what we know. This first video is the basic hand tools you need on a job, be it if it's your first installation as an installation contractor, as an employee for an installation contractor. These are things that never leave my truck. They're on every job with me. So to start, the first thing is a Sharpie, permanent marker. All too often, I'm guilty of it. You need to make a mark, you don't have one. You pick up a chunk of dirt or broken concrete. The only person that knows where the mark is is you. Nah, we, we don't want to do that. Chisel tip Sharpie, mark for a cutoff, uh, measurement, things like that. You can't go wrong with that. The second thing, doesn't have to be this small, but a notebook, something to something to write on. Something you write, have something to write a write a list with. So now we're gonna move into the hand tools you should have. I keep everything on, on a tool belt. You know, I, for my tape measure, my hammer, my spud wrench, that's you know main, the main basic things there. So to start, the first thing I always recommend is a level. You don't want it much longer than this because if it is, you might have trouble seeing it and lining up an extension. We use it this short, so when you're putting a lead in the ground or extensions, you can turn it, line it up, and see where you're level and install the pile. The next thing is a tape measure. Tape measure is important, obviously, for measuring cutoffs, you know, when you're cutting and capping a pile underpinning so you know where to cut for your t-pipe and your bracket and things like that uh laying out marking marking out things like that can't go wrong with having a tape measure next thing claw hammer it's got to be steel framed if it's wood it's gonna break this is for heavy duty applications we're beating bolts through extensions anchor bolts into concrete and whatever else you could think of where you need a hammer on a job. You're hitting metal on metal, wood on metal, it's gonna break. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, you could be in trouble if this isn't steel. It's gonna, you're gonna put it through its courses, make sure it's the right quality and stuff like that. Lastly, a pair of tin snips. That's for cutting bands when the material comes. All too often, you know, we see with a claw hammer, People are getting two wrenches, trying to bend it. You know, they all work. This is just quicker and it, and it gets things moving. Uh, and lastly, obviously, you know, your basic PPE, hard hat, glasses, gloves, high-vis vest if you don't have a high-vis shirt on. Yeah, that's, that's about it for, you know, quick overview of what you need. In closing, if you have any questions, comments, ideas, things to add to my list or anything like that in general, feel free to reach out to us at info at dambro.com or website www.dambro.com or call our office at 215-271-7700. Thank you and have a good day.